okay in this second part of this tutorial what we want to do is to make sure we cannot enter any alphabet characters in here we only just want numbers in here. if I run it you guys will understand what I'm talking about okay as you can see if I enable any of this system I can enter numbers and I can even enter alphabet character in there see that is wrong and the other thing is when I uncheck I expect these to to become disabled so we need to take care of that as well so the first thing I want to do now is to prevent this prevent the user from being able to enter alphabet onto any of these components here so let's stop it right there I'm going to select it all and use event this event is known as key key press then I'll come to the event right here let's click there and just come in here key press I'll call it numbers only let's go to event key press right there numbers underscore only that is the name of my key press event so I press enter and there we go that is the event number on numbers only the next thing I want to do now is to enter the following statement you see that if ASCII in a bracket e dot key char less than and equals to 8 then I want the ASCII to only be able to accept whatever is between 48 and 57 48 and 57 is 0 1 2 3 up to 9 in the ASCII character you can always try that out by holding on to the alt key and just press the number pad okay so it has to be between this and this if it's true all right else it will not accept any other character so if I try to run it now let's run it and you guys will see what I'm talking about if I enable so I cannot enter any more data in there apart from numbers you see I can only enter numbers I cannot enter and we can we can verify that by using the visual keyboard let's come in here and just enter keyboard let me open it and you see what I'm talking about there we go that's the visual keyboard I'm going to enable one of these and I'll try to enter right here try to enter that nothing is happening but numbers you see that guys so that is good so close that now that you get the whole idea of that there all right that is verified but the other thing is I want to be able to uncheck this and this disabled so let's come in here and have a good look at these codes so let's come in here double click on the fry let's start with the fry right there okay so we use an if statement to get that sorted so let's go by saying if CRK fries dot let's get rid of this dot checked equals true then I want this to happen else I want all of this to become false false and whatever content is in there I will want that cleared as well and if and whatever content we have in txc fries dot clear alright so if we if we come in here and run that you guys will see what I'm talking about so if I click on this and enter any data in there then I decide to just close that you see that all the content goes but we want that to become zero so let's come back in there and change that to txt price dot text equals let's enter the zero back onto it so we come in here enable okay when we enable we should clear it as well 
enable is true and play it as well so so that we can enter that data in there and txt fries dot focus let's focus in there as well then the cursor goes right in there run it there guys you see that if i click on that there look at the cursor ready for us to enter data in there okay get rid of that you see that again that's nice isn't it so we will repeat the same thing for the rest of that so let me show you guys the code so that i can speed that up right here from here down here so that will be repeated for all of the checkbox that will be repeated okay guys save that i've just speed up the checkbox codes and there they are can i show you guys the rest that is for the onion ring that is for the chicken salad fish sandwich and so on it's just the same lines of code really okay and that is that so what i need to do now i will now run the programs now if I click on all of these and let's say I enter some data in there what I want the system to be able to do is supposing I select reset okay can you see some of these as you can see they are missing the zeros and look when you click on it again all the zeros are gone so the first thing I want to do is to come in here double click on the reset and let's add a zero here so we can just say text dot text equals let's enter zero there so that that will take care of that minor error okay now that that is done for the form load, I would like the form load to add the details for this payment method. So let me double click on form load. Right, right underneath here. So I'm going to enter C, CMB payment method dot items dot dot odd so the first one I want to enter nothing there will be nothing in there so the second one let's enter that will be for cash mastercard visa card okay and uh, maybe direct debit so this will be cash this maybe debit card or let's go for mastercard there in here let's go for visa card and right here we enter debit card there so that takes care of the combo box now if i run it Let's see how that will look, look like. That's for the combo box. I can always select that or select this. So that is fine. Okay. Now, what about reset? If I click on that, I can always reset and that repopulate it. If you want to click on that, that error you saw earlier is gone. Alright, that's good. Let's okay the next thing I would like to do now is to let's define some variables there that's been the constant price underscore bottle water as let's go for decimal 
and the price of the bottle water let's go for about one one pound now okay I'll just speed up the whole process all right those are my variables in place okay all the constants the price of the of each item that the fast food joint is selling and here have all the variables for tax of total total and here that's just an array that's all used in carrying out this calculation so that is taken care of let's save that okay the next thing now is let's have a look at the total itself double click on that very total so let's see this array here yeah this very array let me copy that and come right down into total here and enter that then array zero let's say array zero equals convert dot to decimal and what we convert and let's go for txt fries there we go dot text so whatever we have in txt fries dot, dot text now the next one let's see what is the next one do we have in there we have salad okay so i'll just copy this so that is going to be txt sa that's it dot text and followed by hamburger that's txt h hamburger now onion ring has txt txt onion that is orange i want the onion o n onion ring there then the next thing is chicken salad i'm gonna copy that paste that in there let's paste more and this one become chicken salad txt chicken chicken salad there okay i'm going to speed that up since you guys get the idea and this one just before i speed it up remember it's an array so we have to assign the correct number minus right, fives we have six here seven eight okay i'm gonna speed that up guys okay i've finished assigning all of the values into or onto the arrays so that's it inside total I guess you guys can see it all yeah all right now the next thing is let's have a look at what's going to happen here so the whole idea is when i select this let's run it and see so when i select this nothing will happen but when i select cash i like cash to enable this so that i can enter whatever purchase is made and the change will be displayed here so let's give that a try when we select this we want this to enable this okay right let's start with an if statement just copy that now now if cmb payment method dot text equals cash no that will not work cash then txt payment method 
dot enable equals true then exe payment method dot text equals clear that and the payment method as well let's set focus dot focus there else the payment method let's copy these two there zero and false there so that's what's gonna happen so if we select cash enable becomes true the content is cleared and focus is set in the else enable becomes false and the content becomes zero so let's give that a try and see right if we select mastercard nothing happens visa card nothing happens okay, but if we select cash there then we can always enter whatever value we have in here or whatever sorry the amount then is deducted from the cost of everything and the change will appear here but if it's mastercard that's what happened then we can just go ahead with our calculation all right that is fine now the next thing okay when we select this i expect this to become that so that's something else we need to take care of okay then let's come in here i'm gonna copy this the text content in here when we click on reset this becomes clear and the test content in here let's make it enable dot and do that we need txt txt payment method dot enable equals force and txt payment method at the same time dot text equals zero so that's what's gonna happen so if we there's an error in there I must have mistakenly copied txt payment method okay let's take it back there right yeah i think that's fine now okay so if i run it let's run it and see what's going to happen right reset okay that's fine so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of the second part of the tutorial and i'll see you in the third part where we will take care of the total